Let's So someone asked for a Spain Booms, because apparently the one storm coming poster is incomplete, and come to think of it, there are a few wrong things in storm coming's boom, like factories on food, that is wrong. So yeah. As soon as these fuckers green up, we can start... If it's double Spain, it's actually hell for us. They have the best flip split pushing sibs. Still considering switching to Eero. It's also hell. Russia auto. Yes, double Spain. So, uh... Should be interesting, because me and Lucas have a disagreement about whether or not my ends are worth sending. And maybe this Spain mirror will- Oh my god, Sabusa, stop counter <laughs> Alright, whatever. We'll, it looks like we're playing this. Hope I get the boost. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah, if people take too long to green up, just spam taunts usually works. Kitchen Lord. Alright. It would also be interesting to see how well my boom compares to Lucas. Lucas is probably the highest a spam boom can go, so even if I'm within 20 points of his boom, I'm doing fine. Lucas has played more Spain than me, I think. What's this? It's two dogs. We're gonna ignore that for now. We're gonna go to the 50. We're gonna go to the resource treasures first. I'm gonna pick my war dog deck. Hopefully a stag clears up. Yeah, it already looks better. Anyway. I can't even hear the... Oh, never mind, I can just turn the volume up. Uh, so yeah, you get the market and then get hunting dogs ASAP. First card is coin trickle. Capitalism. Hmm. I'm on the side with the route, so that means I should have plenty of hunts. Ooh, 90 coin is nice. I'm just gonna go straight towards that. Okay, and then get the gang saw at some point. Uh, shouldn't put bills on gold until you have placer mines. 
Lo hace, sí. corre, lo hace. Mm. Sí. Prepara, Vamos. cazador. Cazador. Sí. Hola. ¿Cuál es, cuál es Hola. Sí, sí. Correcto. Correcto. Cazadora. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sí. Correcto. Sí. ¿Cuál es su comando? Corre, sí. corre, lo haré. Like, I have to take that because I'm Spain mirroring Lucas and I need every advantage I can get, but. I, well, I guess it doesn't really change the boom, it just makes everything better. So it's, I'm, it's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take that with the bill. It's not even that big of an effect, anyway. Eco theory next. Seeing that this is deck. Inf 10 rods. That's actually a really good card. I meant to like add it in my deck to try it out. Well, if I lose, I know what to blame it on. Oh, they see it too. I have to get a drill up there right now. Shit. Uh, Q18 bills and then stop there. See, my boom is like extremely similar to Storm Cummings actually. I wonder who has the advantage in team codes. Oh, Lucas definitely has the advantage of team codes because team artillery does not give me three shot goals, so it doesn't help me in any way, shape, or form. But this card gives his lancers more HP, so yeah. I I'm probably gonna lose. So he has an advantage with team codes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Stop banging. You think I got it? Yes. Hola, re -re -re the, the trick is to click like right after the last guardian dies. Need really good reflexes. Although the problem there was just that the veil was not in position to pick up the treasure, obviously. I'll hold that hun, I guess. Not sure if that's half map or not. I think I still have plenty of hunts anyway. Oh no, that is half map, I think. Whatever. Maybe the whole distribution should look something like this, give or take. I'll just scratch out that, I guess. Oh, Gitchen Lord has four hunts around his CC, and he doesn't need four, he only needs three, so I can just take this, so I'm fine on hunts. Don't need to take ones that are right on half map, like that one. I have, I have this, I have this, I have this, and I have that. And if Kitchen Lord takes that one, I'll just take this one. Actually, taking this one makes more sense since that one is like right next to his TC. Whereas this one's a bit further from his, but they're both about the same distance from mine. Oh, well, make sure your explorer is in position by your TC well ahead of time so that you don't forget. Happens to everyone a few times, like you, you, you forget to move your explorer into building range, but by the time you're in fortress, so you can't build TCs even though you have more than enough wood. It's really painful when that happens. Cool. So yeah, I'm gonna take that one for the reasons. 
So yeah, you age to age two with two vills. And then you can immediately age to three after that. There's another version where you age with 17 vills and do 500 food. I'm not sure if it's good or not. Oh, fuck. Does Lucas do mines? Um, yes, he does. He ch I guess he changed his mind about that. I think mines are actually good with Blood Brothers just because of how tanky they are. Fun thefts. Interesting. Basically, I have to win the start fight against a trade po post Spain when I don't have it. Oh, do, can I reach this? No, I can't. Because if I don't win the start fight, I get shoved into a place where I have no room to FB. So I have to like do something I don't know. Do something a little different and hopefully catch him off guard or something. Maybe horse artillery. Well micro to this um, sound. At least I have real speed. <sighs> this cliff here. Why? <laughs> it would have been perfect cliffs if my cliffs were just mirroring Lucas's. Alright, so yeah, yes, and once you're in Fortress, you have two cards in queue and the refrigeration and royal mints. Gather the 400 wood ASAP so that you can queue the first TC. I usually use it's the 400 wood from age up to get the TC. Um. Oh, wait, I have a hunt over by Kitchen Lord. I wish it would stop lagging. But yeah, it's good to know how many hunts each sieve need, each sieve needs, so that you can know whether or not it's okay to take their hunts. Like, I know that Otto only needs four hunts max, so I know that it's perfectly okay for me to take this hunt. But if Kitchen Lord were Portuguese, I would not take that hunt. I would take like this hunt instead. Because Portuguese needs five hunts to age. Move these bills to this hunt. So that when that hunt runs out, I don't have like 15 bills standing there. Kind of slowly distribute them onto other hunts. This will be made even more difficult if Sabusa pushes, because this mat Nat is like really close to mortaring range. If Sabusa is able to mortar that mat Nat native, uh. It's gonna spell a lot of trouble for me. 
How's Zucus already five points ahead of me? Did I forget something? I don't think so. I wonder what treasures he had. I'm on my way for a very decent industrial age up time, like 1310 I think. Will be my age up time to industrial. And that's not bad. Let's go, 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 Oh my god. Oh yeah. At least one of your hunts will back hood, especially when you're dealing with this many hunts. And when that happens, just try not to delete all your drills and resign. I get tempted to do sometimes. When I put back hoods too many times. Hola, lo haré, cazadora. Sí, cazadora. Preparada. Hola. Cazador. I'm gonna check right now if Lucas had any tre good, really good treasures, like 300 coin or something. Uh, 40 food. Dude, he got like nothing. The fuck? How is how did he outboo me? He got like nothing. No, he just doesn't want me to have any excuses. I'm kidding. He's that I don't know. It's actually good for Russia, because normally with the church code and the wood trickle, you, um, oh, Sabusa doesn't send wood trickle, usually with the uh, church code, I mean, usually with the church code, you, like, can't afford AA and all your training codes, so TP is pretty good for Russia, might be even better than for Spain. If I were Lucas, I would have just taken it, because... In a Spain mirror, having like th that, those two extra shipments will like let you win the start army and usually let you win the game. Like, trade post can pretty much decide Spain mirrors. So Lucas is like turning down a guaranteed win by not taking that TP. So yeah, another thing I do differently is I don't send wood code. I uh, use the slot for Blood Brothers and the uh, um, wood arc code. Hola. Okay, now I'm only one point behind. <laughs> Not sure how much, the, what you might call it, the real speed had to do with that, though. Maybe Sabusa is going to use his TP to send Team Cavalry scouts before 40. I think that's what I would do if I was Sabusa. Cards like that can decide Spain mirrors. Yeah, so yeah, and then you send the mill code. Um, after factories. Preparada. Sí, leñadora. 
Factories on wood ASAP as soon as you're aging to imperial. Wood, not food. Statistics don't lie. Food gathers faster than wood. Did I outage him? Um, probably not. He's probably gonna hit it like right now. Holy fuck, I outaged him. Alright, well. So then you like put vills on wood as your um, hunts start to dwindle and uh, run out. Like my hunts are almost out, so I'm gonna start putting more vills on mills. So I can continue vill production. And as always, I get the wood upgrade first. So usually at this point, I give more vills on wood than anything because you're waiting on cards. Worst case scenario, I would delete a few dancers so that I could continue vote production. Fourteen vills on mill should be enough to for three TCs. I'll just make all my houses right now so I don't forget again. Yeah, that 45 vills on wood is what you want to spin in natives. 45 vills on wood and then 40 ish vills on coin. Hola, leñadora. Don't even really need to send church XP, like, like, Spain gets XP fast enough that you can, and that if you don't send wood code, you can get all your plantation codes without even sending church XP. Um, I'll make all my plantations right now. Again, again, for the purpose of getting those codes. Alright, I actually have re Yeah, six plantations is all I'll need for Spain and natives. Did Zuka send woodcut? No. Huh. Is it because all my wood is invested in plants? Am I just... I, I can't think of anything I did drastically wrong in this boom, and yet I'm get, I'm still getting- my boom is still like- I'm still getting out boomed by a fairly decent margin. Oh well. And I even have vil speed. I guess it shows vil speed doesn't do much. I mean, it's an advantage, no doubt, but it's not going to make or break your boom, I guess. Yes. 
sí, lo voy, sí, lo voy, sí, lo haré. Sí, pre voy así, lo haré, voy, sí, lo así. ¿Qué me ordenó? <laughs> Incantations are fully upgraded. Voy al recolectora. Preparada. ¿Cuál es tu comando? Sí, recolectora. Hola. Hola. Hola, recolectora. ¿Qué me ordena? Sí. ¿Qué me ordena? Recolector. Recolector. I have to look at the Vilgraph after um, this game's done. Maybe the problem is that I'm not pulling vills off food and transition to the fortress age, so I don't get my TCs up as quickly as I could. It's possible, I guess. Preparado. Lo correcto. Recolector. ¿Qué me ordena? Prepa sí, leñador. ¿Cuál es tu ¿Qué me ordena? Like if the Vilgraph shows him maxing like a good 10-15 seconds earlier, th then that'll confirm my theory. Build the church and you're starting FB so that if missionaries die, they, they don't have to walk all the way to the... from your base to the fight. Um... Hola, constructora. Now the boiling side of treaty. <laughs> They're a very boiling part of treaty. Especially without music. If I'm listening to music while mauling, it's actually not that bad. Do I upgrade goons? I'm gonna try it. Just like five of them, micro to the answers. Would that be good? I'm not sure. Sí. Sí, lo así. Sí. 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 I am. That would be so gay if I had like not been recording the entire time. <sighs> I have a feeling that I'm gonna do this. I mean, we'll see, but. Am I actually trying goons out? I mean, it's a choke, so if I want to try them any game in a competitive game, then it's this game. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, we're doing it. Storm coming and Milky were wrong about a lot of things. Um, they were wrong about Husser never upgrading Hussers with Dutch. I, like, you shouldn't make that many Hussers with Dutch, but not upgrading them is just stupid because then your opponent doesn't have to make a single unit of anti cav. What else were they wrong about? Uh, oh, German beating Brit. Brit can actually overwhelm German with a rocket mass, or they can push really early and win that way too. It's just all the Brit players were too slow at microing and stuff, and that's why 
that created the misconception that Germany beats Brit. Um, yeah. And still kind of even milky. I think they were the first people to really say, don't make goons with Spain. Goons are bad for Spain. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try it. I think Collection even made goons in the Spain mirror where he beat Sabusa, so I guess it's definitely worth investigating. And if I fail, then at least I know never to make goons again. What did Kitchener would say? Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, the surgeon guy that costs one pop, I usually just delete him. Because it's like, it costs a population that you could be using on military. But again, I'm never going to have more than five goons out. Because that's pr probably... Having more than five goons out is probably bad. For the reasons that, like, Storm coming in Milky used to say. Like... It messes up Spain's mainly melee composition. Of that native skirm lancer. Like, native skirm lancer needs to be their core for sure. But in a game where both players are making 20 plus lancers, I'm just wondering if goons could be good there. Also gonna upgrade rods. Not sure how much Gitchen Lord wants to FB. If he wants to FB for this entire space, make a massive, massive FB. Uh, or if he just wants to FB, like, here. Here. So, I'm gonna wait for him to FB before fish finishing walls. Ooh, this man has to go. That mine definitely has to go. I'm try having five goons this game. Storm 999 was actually pretty intelligent gameplay wise, in my opinion. Leak. I'm pretty sure he was the first person to start going like musk artillery with Brits instead of just trying to push in the first five minutes or losing if that push doesn't work. Like, attitude problems aside, he was a pretty good player in my opinion. Sí, granjera. 
And of course, people are free to disagree with that. Five walls for safety, we are against Russia after all. Should probably start making them now. I sent Cav Combat and Advanced Arsenal, and then I start the game with just one sh with just one training card, but that's fine since like my army's so much stronger. Wait, is Luke is Lucas queuing upgrades, or did I just like catch up with his boom because of the Vil the Vil treasure? Like if I'm uh, if I'm ahead of him by this much because of the real treasure, it might actually be really good. Looks like that's all Gishin Lord wants to make. Uh, that map map. I'm not sure how good a bad Sabusa's Russia is. Never really seen him play Russia. ¿Cuál es tu granjera? I use shift control A to like select pillars and delete them and my biggest fear is that I'll accidentally select a vill instead of a pillar and then I'll accidentally delete 50 vills before I realize it. Like, that would just lose me the game if that happened. Yeah, I'll just let Gitchen Lord close that. Mm. Watch my wood. I, I want at least 10k at 40. Now yeah, that wood dog. Bitch. He's gonna see my army. I should make it back here. That's good. This is a good idea, actually. Then I'll make. It's, no, I don't even want to make one mortar because <laughs> that's like pop that could be used for fighting. And when I'm in against a player so close to my skill in this matchup, like I want all my pop to be. Like for the start, f and since the start fight is so important, I want all my pop to be for fighting. Hmm. Do I queue five rods or five skins? Cause I already have five goons. I think I queue three more lancers. It's probably good. Nah, I don't know. It's a choke. I think I do five more skins. I don't know. Let's just do rods. It's like a compromise between scum and answer. Mm. 
No, because I already have five gooms. Oh, I know what to do. Perfect. Did he also send calf combat? If he didn't, then I might be in a good position to win this fight. Nothing built there, I'm too lazy. Should be Gishin Lord building up there, since if anyone jumps there, it's gonna be Sabusa. I'm gonna FK right now. Oh, I need to check my Woodvilles first. Fine, 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 fine. All right. It would actually be hilarious if using goons and Spain mirrors became a thing because like people called Storm999 a noob for using goons and Spain mirrors. Might be one of those things that only works in Spain mirrors though, like Custer starts only work in Spain mirror. Catches your opponent off guard because they expect the answer. <sighs> this is gonna be intense, I think. Oh, this is nice. I can put a mortar there. And a few coves, maybe. Like in this hook. If I have to. Preparada. Le corlo a voy a hacerlo. Constructora. ¿Cuál es tu comando? Sí. Constru 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 const leñadora. My wood is gonna be a little lower than I'd like, but that's fine. Let's say move up my army now. Yay, no calf combat. Oh no. Uh, he made 10 rods. He made 5 goons. It's interesting. Holy fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm out booming him by like 40 points. Or 25 points solely because of that Vil speed treasure. Because earlier we saw he was out booming me, but Vil speed Hola. treasure let me catch up and. So I guess it takes a while to actually have an effect. Right. Oh shit, Vils, Vils, Vils. Alright, I have Vils. 
eight vills. I'd like two more. Right, cool. Not having FB vills in the Spain mirror would be like the worst thing ever. I keep my Minutemen in the back, cause Unction, do they do decent- I'm pretty sure they do decent damage, like 42 damage. Uh, Lucas moves his up front to like tank Lancer shots. Hmm. I should have some bills on the right side there as well, fuck. Alright, here goes nothing. See if goons are good. Or if they suck. Mm, so the most bills should go to your first stable, because that'll let you make an initial answer. I'm gonna move my goons up here. Lucas used to do that with like all his lances. Now he only does it with like ten, which is much smarter. Nah, I already have five dudes. Gonna delete my Minutemen so that I can make lances more pop into lances. Native upgrades ASAP. Oh, duh, I need inch speed first, don't I? I need a call of two, don't I? Doing all the things we criticize Storm999 for. I'm making goons and he's using horse artillery. And here comes the inch training speed, fuck. Like, I can't get natives out because I don't have any training speed yet. All I can do is spam lancers. Like, even though I had a slight advantage in the start fight, his reinforcement batch is destroying me right now. Fuck my life. Alright, now I have infantry training speed. Let's go. Give him the control group. Cheaper nats next. Aww, he, re he reacted appropriately. Espe in this position especially where I have no room to fall, fall back on, I really, really wanted that. <sighs> Start fight advantage. Nanto times 4 against Dinf next. Alright, let's try to hit this artillery. Hopefully he lets me. Gonna queue a mortar from here. I'll also queue a mortar from the side. Um, oh my god, we're late with the native. Fuck. It's both our faults. Like, my explorer wasn't there. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, I'm getting. I think I'm getting owned, but I'm not sure. It feels like I'm getting owned. I'm like stuck in my FB right now, that's why I feel like I'm getting owned, even though my score doesn't look like that way. Go, Nat, 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 Nat! Alright, that's GG. Bad start, late on native, stuck in my FB. Gonna need, a, gonna need a decent feed to come back from that one. Kill Mort from the side. Half cards A first, that is. Need that mortar, I already have two mortars. 
That's too fat. Okay. And I, 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 let my, I let all my missionaries die, so... Nah, this game is bullshit. It doesn't it won't prove anything. Like if I win, it doesn't prove that goons are good. It just proves that my units happen to attack better in really shitty clips from both of us. Dumb choke. Oh, I'm not gonna win. I'm already 100 points down. And now I have no stable. I'm fucked beyond belief. Lucas making as actual composition on the side, and I'm just spamming answers. Why don't I have mortars up here? Why do I keep mortars? Oh well. Fucked beyond belief. Yeah, he, he, he focused it, asshole. Brothers is next. I need this to move over. Fuck, his horse artillery is on the right. Is he gonna hit my native? I don't know if he. No, he can't from there. Can he? No. Alright, I'm fine. No, he can hit my embassy though. Oh. That's the problem. Oh my god, the corps are walking all the way around. Not, instead of just through the foundry. Oh no, and Sabusa just destroyed my stable. Bad lifts, bad lifts, but, uh... Let's get these lancers to just pass, go, 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 move. Move! 
All right, I lost. I guess you know it's also 400 points down. Um, there's no point in playing this further. Yeah, I'm done. Spain mirrors end in like that. Holy shit, my combat. Not like it was possible to win in those cliffs unless I decisively won the start fight ease anyway. Alright, next one. 